Dear young people, prayer, action, and sacrifice. These are three words which summarize a very vast program whose implementation requires our energies and those of generations to come. Prayer is the noble supplication which we lift up to the throne of God. It is the most efficient means to obtain from God the graces which we need. I urge you with all the strength of my soul to approach the Eucharistic table as often as possible. Feed on this bread of the angels from which you will draw the strength to fight inner struggles, the struggles against passions and against all adversities. Because Jesus Christ has promised to those who feed themselves with the most holy Eucharist, eternal life, and the necessary graces to obtain it. And when you become totally consumed by this Eucharistic fire, then you will be able to thank, with greater awareness, the Lord God, who has called you to be part of his flock. And you will enjoy that peace which those who are happy according to the world have never tasted. Because true happiness, young people, does not consist in the pleasures of the world and in earthly things, but in peace of conscience, which we can have only if we are pure of heart and mind. After having fortified our spirit by applying ourselves with great diligence to works of mercy, and after having intensely studied the questions which are troubling us, then can we throw ourselves into the apostolate. And there are three distinct apostolates. First of all, there is the apostolate of good example. We Catholics must strive to have our whole life guided by Christian moral law. Then there is the apostolate of charity, by going among those who suffer and comforting them, among the unfortunate and saying a comforting word to them. Finally, there is the apostolate of persuasion. This is one of the most beautiful and necessary. Young people, Approach your colleagues at work who live their lives away from the church and spend their free time not in healthy pastimes, but in vices. Persuade them to follow the ways of God, strewn with many thorns, but also many roses. Yet prayer and action alone are not enough. We must sacrifice everything for everything, our ambitions, indeed our entire selves, for the cause of the faith. In order for our life to be Christian, it must be a continual renunciation, a continual sacrifice. Which is not burdensome, if only we think what these few years, past in sorrow, are. Compared with a happy eternity, where joy will have no measure nor end, and where we will enjoy a peace beyond anything we could imagine. And so, young people, learn how to sacrifice from our Lord Jesus Christ. In order to atone for our horrible sins, he sacrificed himself as an innocent victim on Calvary. And he renews this wonderful sacrifice every day in every part of the world during Holy Mass. The times which we are going through are difficult, but you fearless and good young people do not be afraid. And in order to bring these poor words of mine to an end, let me cry out with you, long live Jesus Christ.